You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Dean Johnson. After Buzz TV. the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's True Blood After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's True Blood After Show. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. It's a slow build. <laughs> Does this sound familiar? Sitting in the oh. so <laughs> <laughs> We did do our research too, Mr. Tino. So what is up with over 20 million weekly downloads listened to in over 100 different countries? We're your one-stop, one destination for true after-show entertainment. We are the After Buzz for True Blood Season 7, Episode 8, Almost Home. I'm JC, and let us introduce our wonderful host, starting with the lovely lady in black. Oh, but who are you talking about? <laughs> no. Both. Both. I'm, uh, are you going to go with me today? It's called a tease. I'm looking okay, I'll take it. Hi, guys. This is Sarah Stratton. And next to Sarah. Hey, guys. I'm Scott Moore. And we made her wait, yes, because I believe this is your favorite song, right, to karaoke to? It is. It is. But you're known for so much more than karaoke. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we have... The this is we're at the mecca moment right now. This is the epic moment at Afterbuzz TV. We have the one, the only. How she moved, <laughs> Ms. Rutina Wesley. Put your hands up together, everybody. Thank Woo! you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. Of course. Thank you for having me. And what a perfect night for you to come in. Honestly, mm -hmm. I. W we just finished watching it what, yeah. ten minutes ago, and. Our emotions are at about a hundred right now, and just thank you. And we can't wait to dive in through all of this. Your experience at True Blood, what's going on outside of True Blood? Just basically, it's going to be the routine hour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, so and of course we got to salute the man on the ones and twos, Mr. Nick, mm -hmm. our engineer for the night. What's going on, Nick? Okay, not all at once. Sorry, hello. <laughs> Just a little distracted. You threw him off there. As you can surprised. tell, we're live. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we are flying. Oh, flying yeah. High. Doing a great job. All right, so all right, so overall thoughts. Guys, thoughts of tonight. and I think pulling at the heartstrings is about right. Um, mm -hmm. I'm starting, it's making me question a lot of the relationships. I think that, you know, take, it's about loss and family and love and who belongs with who and how people belong mm -hmm. together. And it really threw a couple of wrench in, like wrenches in for me. Like, are Sookie and Bill actually supposed to work out? Where they put Jessica and Jason? Like every relationship, they started putting building questions in my mind, and I was really happy about that because I've had, like for instance, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna mm -hmm. get into Jessica and Jason, my relationship with them, but they gave me answers and made me think more. That's how I'm feeling about this. My heartstrings are pulled. And now I'm questioning who I want to end up together. And I was so sure about who I wanted to get together. Mm -hmm. Like at the end of last week, this whole season, I've been like, Sookie and Bill, you know, putting everyone in their individual units. And I'm like, wait, what's actually mm -hmm. the right answer to this? Isn't like, that what life? is people, how are people going to be mm -hmm. happy and how are people are going to survive? So, yeah. Isn't that yeah. life? Basically, it's shades of gray. Well, we and also, no, 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 no. But, <laughs> no, I wasn't starting. Not, I wasn't. No. <laughs> I'm just, yes, God. No, but I was. I, I kind of get what you're saying. It's sort of like life. Like we kind of had this whole thing of like who we thought, how we thought everything was going to be planned, and now they're like, oh, it's like life. Like it's not happening the way we mm -hmm. we thought it would, and how it was going to be planned. And also, yes, it was emotional, but also this episode also I felt like was the turning point again. Like like episode five was. We went back to the house, and it kind of split from the first half of the season to the second. I feel like this was the accelerating episode to kind of get us to the home stretch, to the final, you know, the final run here. Mm -hmm. So it was a really intense, emotional, but it was a great turnaround to start that rush to the finish line here. So, what did you think? We got answers. We got some, some, some. 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 And not just because you're here. I'm sure fans are <laughs> going, "Oh, look, he's being so sweet. She's here." <laughs> no, it's. 
we got so many answers of the scope of let's say mm -hmm. your your character all the answers of why and the uh, the most important thing was why why do we do things uh -huh. why are who we are we got all those answers i thought tonight especially yes. with your character right. mm -hmm. so much so. Sure. And, and how was it for you watching it? it you know it was like i said i think almost home is the perfect uh title for this episode because i feel like um it was from from my journey it was nice to see you know tara uh the, the reason why she is the way she is it was nice to see her father because I, I had always, as an actor, I was always like, where's her dad? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's, mm -hmm. there's got to be a reason why she is so defensive. So it was nice to have, to see young Tara at her that birthday party. So then we could flash back to episode, to season four, when I had a birthday party, they threw me a birthday party, or mm -hmm. no, that was, uh, sorry, season two, when they threw me the birthday party. Mm -hmm. And I hated birthday parties. Mm -hmm. So now right. we can go full, kind of yeah. full circle. So you actually see why right. I hate birthday parties. Mm -hmm. And it was just, um, you know, I love Adina Porter. I just, and you know, that was our final scene together. And I think for me, it was just so, it was hard to watch. It was hard to watch. And the whole episode for me, I was like on pins and needles because I'm like, oh my God, uh, Hoyt's back. Okay, is Hoyt gonna be, oh my God. And the, the, the love, the love that's kind of like mm -hmm. bubbling up with Hoyt and Jessica. And then we've got Bridget and Jason. I mean, it's sort of, it, I was just sort of like, I don't know. I was on, yeah, I was on pins and needles. That's mm. not, I mean, that's, How can I you be surprised? Because don't you know what's going to happen? I decided, <laughs> no, I decided not to read the season so that I could be surprised just like the rest oh, of the audience. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I kept wow. looking over and you were kind of on the edge of your yeah. seat. You were with us. I was like, I don't want to cry while I'm watching this because it, it was so emotional tonight's yes. episode. Yeah. That's how I get. Yes, like, me too. Watching, I, I couldn't. Like, I was like, don't breathe. Right. <laughs> don't look at anybody like, or start crying. Like, just stay calm because i was like don't start crying because you can't right mm, now yeah. yeah but well this is just a tease so let's let's go back and let's mm. start off with sarah knew me and being the antidote her new mm. name of antidote mm -hmm. that was yes. one of my favorite lines <laughs> or messiah yeah <laughs> or princess of everyone's Ace. everyone's a messiah and a miracle according to her so okay so <laughs> basically we have the open with um it's sarah and, and uh, of course jason we get to see you uh, God bless Jason. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, or Ryan in this, and for this sense, because I've noticed more than ever, and when he has his dialogue, or when he's saying a line, great, we, we, mm -hmm. see, we see what he's saying, but he does these little things outside, the nonverbal communication right. that he projects is insane. And I saw this in, throughout the whole episode. I, I jumping forward when he's, he's at Violet's house, but he just did, does these little things, and it's just great to see him and and Sarah is in their. I think this is their final goodbye, right? Because he's basically saying you're gonna die, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what do we get out of that scene? Any any thoughts or? I mean, the fact that Eric can pretty much just is now healed. He's 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 healed. He's alive. Yeah, <laughs> that surprised me actually. I, that, that that was so easy that they just that he. That's what I was gonna say. Really, really it, surprised. It by happened that. really, really quickly, Didn't expect and that. I liked the Pam like gesture of like it, it was kind of come down to her because mm -hmm. that's a constant theme with mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. it's always in their relationship like it came it came up like that's how he when he chose her over his girlfriend like it's constantly someone or pam and it's always pam's mm -hmm. life is put up um so i liked that return form i thought it went kind of quickly but we had to put so much in this mm -hmm. episode yeah. um like they healed him really quickly but it made sense and i did like that she, you know, Sarah knew me, whatever her name is, <laughs> right. mm -hmm. has this whole crazy spiel that's still continuously going. Mm -hmm. And that she does have this Messiah prerogative and you do get the parallels of lot, like religion and everything. They're always good about putting that yeah, in. It's done absolutely. very, very smartly. I just think because there's so much more left I think we we're in store for a few more turns. Well, that's what I yeah. right, and that's why I kind of said earlier, like we got all the answers, especially with your character, but there's a lot of questions there and that mm -hmm. are still out there for these next two episodes. I'm like, oh my god. My question is why Sarah's still alive <laughs> if they have like synthesized her blood. Like, why is she actually necessary if they have... Since you haven't seen the script, so you <laughs> yeah. can kind of play along with you, us here. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I was thinking maybe they want to just keep a, a, a yeah. like, fresh supply so right. they can just keep, you know, testing Just in case. And That's like, what yeah. I, was, I was thinking. Back up. You've got to. And also, you know, if there is a people they want to heal, they could do it right away because as we learn later on, they're not giving them the full... 
you know, anecdote here of healing them completely, which, which was a smart tactic too. And is yeah. also a very good plot point. <laughs> yeah. Because I thought it was realistic. Like, yeah. Profit. Except with the razor argument. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, exactly. yes, I Get agree. It. This is totally a business plan. I hate mm-hmm. you, but it's, <laughs> it's real. Yes. <laughs> but I believe it. The big yeah. pharma and modern medicine, yes. basically. So. Exactly. You know, I... I Gosh, what is Eric going to do? He's, it's so funny. He's the one, and you should know about poker playing since we're tired, you know, but what are his cards? What is his last hand? Mm. That's what I'm dying mm-hmm. to know. Yeah. Sarah's looking bewildered. Why? I'm looking bewildered because, as I said before, I was convi- I've been convinced that they've been angling us towards the Pam-Eric relationship mm-hmm. for this season. That's what I've been feeling. And then they kind of, as I said, put a wrench in it this episode where he does go back to Sookie. He does tell her that he's okay. And I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. I kind of thought his goodbye was removed from the situation, mm-hmm. going to go deal with Pam. I thought he was going to come back, obviously, because he had the cure. But I didn't think it was going to be him reaching out. So I was really surprised. And I don't know if that's just because he has this new life, so he mm-hmm. can seek out the things he wants. And he doesn't have to be like this detrimental person all about revenge. Mm-hmm. Like, he has his life back, so he has choices. Um, that must yeah. be interesting for a vampire to have a second chance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because he knew he was going to right. die. Mm-hmm. He, right. he, he, had, he had resigned to the fact that right. he was going to meet his true death. And that's how we were all feeling. And that kind of throws my whole theory out the window. It's like they're not going to be afraid to kill him off, even though it would be so hard for the fans because now they're wrapping up the series. They can do whatever they want. So I kept going this whole season thinking, okay, they're going to kill him off. And so now that kind of throws that whole thing out for me, at least right now. I mean, that doesn't mean that couldn't happen in the next two episodes, but... But we've Less heard likely. from the writers, uh, from everyone uh, attached to the show. <laughs> no, but that it's always, it seems like it's always been placed to the fact that it's going to be Bill and Sookie in the end because mm-hmm. that's who the story is about. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if this is a red herring. She's shrugging her mm-hmm. shoulder. Mm-hmm. What, what I mean, because I really don't know who's going to end up with who. Like, they really oh. have me questioning now what's going to happen because I, I felt the same way when Eric came to Sookie and yeah. the way she reacted towards him. Huh. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, she's still, oh no, are they gonna, you know, now I'm wondering if they're gonna like it. No. You, I mean, uh, I just, cause yeah, because I just felt like she still maybe has a little bit of. And I'll see past, past, passed away three days ago. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, but it's, it doesn't feel like three I days know, it's ago. it's accelerated yeah. world here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I was they thinking about quick. that before t- we went yeah. in today and I was like, wow, see, it's not been gone that long, but so much <laughs> has happened. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, like emotionally, I feel like he's been gone for a while. That's right. sad. <laughs> We've already moved on. Well, speaking of moving on, I, I forgot to say hello to everyone watching at home, AfterBuzzTV.com. If you're watching us live, hello. And if you're not, make sure you go to, I, go to iTunes, YouTube, One Stitcher, go to OneCast. Let us know what you think. Tell us what you think. Send us any more questions for our future guests because we have some for you for tonight. So okay. stay tuned for that. Mm-hmm. So let us move on to, who should we move on to next? Who do I see on my list? Hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and the wonderful arc of Tara, Letty mm-hmm. May, Reverend Daniels, and who else am I missing? Lala and James. And James, yes. Mm-hmm. Shocking. I mean, it was beautiful, like, beautiful oh, scene. I was God, just so not beautiful. expecting this at no. all. Yeah. I did not realize that that's where this arc was going. Mm-hmm. I thought that Tara was going to present another cure, another scenario for mm-hmm. Hefty. So, but very, very pleasantly surprised because it brought. We're always expecting so much action, and yes, they have the relationships, but sometimes you get caught up in, like, we have this huge catastrophe to solve. Like, the world is ending, everyone's mm-hmm. going to die, and it, this ended up just being about forgiveness of self and moving forward, and it, it kind of gave me hope for the other characters mm-hmm. that after all this madness, like, they could choose to live, or they could choose to have a life that wasn't so ruled by these crazy bad shit happening all the time like i was really happy floored completely not what i was expecting at all but i'm i thought it was done really well rutina how was it for you when you were reading the script and you saw that and because when did you find out that you know first first off let's backtrack because Mm -hmm. at the beginning of the series of this season i had a really hard time with your death now that yes. I, I'm finally accepting your death because I kept we, on we, we all did yeah we said no she didn't we, at first we thought 
we thought all sorts of crazy theories. And I'm, you don't, Wait, we don't no, want... you thought my mom killed me, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you really do watch. Yes. That's <laughs> well, Now I'm even more embarrassed now. <laughs> I was right. So I'm good. <laughs> she got me. Okay, but I want to know, first off, how did you lose the fight in your mind? Because you were winning the battle. I've always wondered that, like yeah. you, as you, you're a strong character, you, uh, you're a kick-ass character mm -hmm. all seven seasons, and you were taking this guy down, and then all of a sudden you're done. Did you ever like step outside and say, "Well, I wonder how I ended up losing the fight"? Um, no. I mean, I think I just, I, I feel like he was a bigger and stronger vamp, but like I had the upper hand at the beginning, and then I think he was just stronger in the end. But what I loved about it is that you saw her go out winning. Mm -hmm. You didn't mm -hmm. see her mm -hmm. lose. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm -hmm. So I think that was nice because that's a good characteristic for Tara. She's a fighter. Mm -hmm. So you see her go out like fighting, you know, and I and I and I loved that. But I think it was just because he was, you know, a stronger, you know, older older vamp. Had to be. Okay. Otherwise, I think she would have kicked. Right. She's, you know, MMA. Yeah. She's out of training. Yeah. yeah. That that I, I think that was part of our, our our issue at first. So that first episode was like, this isn't the way she's gonna go out. And and I love the way that you made that into a positive way because I was like. She's been around all this time, and then we just see her disappear. We don't know what happened. And at, at first episode, the first like five minutes, it was like really yes. hard to we deal with like, for the you know like, for wait, the viewer. Wait, 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 wait. We've been, this is Tara. We've had her seven seasons. Yeah. You, where, where, where is she? So does I that? Like, I need more. Does that validate? Obviously, we got more this season. Yes. Being, yes. That it, uh, being that I got another like seven episodes, right? I was very happy. And, and, and the whole like... uh, and the whole story and the whole backstory mm -hmm. that obviously the writers had planned here and the whole arc that they had, and so it definitely. Yeah. Brings a better closure now, I think, for your character. Yeah. That's good. I was, that's good because I was gonna ask yeah. you guys if that's because we. I, that. I personally, and that's what I'm telling the fans because mm -hmm. fans say, "Oh, he's gonna go give her so much shine." No, I'm <laughs> telling you, I had such a hard time because I'm like, "Why do they have these little snippets?" Like, la you know, I think it was was it last week where it was such a short time devoted in the episode to what was happening with you, and I'm mm -hmm. like, "What's this all mean? Am I, am, am I not gonna get a payoff at the end?" And boy, did we ever! Mm -hmm. and, and it was well it, now. And it was Sorry. a character payoff, right, not that, a plot yes, payoff, which right. was to me in, different than how they've normally been doing things. Like being that it was about her heart and about her moving on, about her mom. It was all. It wasn't like this needs to happen in order for someone else to be saved or to like defeat this like fairy monster. It was for just people's hearts. Yeah, Does that it was real, sense? real simple. Her finally yeah. forgiving They're, her mm -hmm. mother. Yes. Her finally going, forgive yourself. I forgive you. Let's move on. Yeah. You know, because, you know, Tara's whole life, I think she she couldn't forgive her mother. And I no. think that was finally, she mm -hmm. finally was able to be at peace. It's that pure forgiveness. Yes. And it gave you that, your character, that, that closure and that thing that I think we as the fans really thought that you deserved from what we cool. saw was lacking in the first episode. We thought, oh my God, you know, so it was a great payoff and a great way, again, for you to say, like, for your character to have that, to have that moment. Yeah. Well, well, let's deconstruct the scene a little bit. I mean, let's talk about how long, how long did that take to shoot? I just... Uh, we... You know, uh, was it a quick sh quick shoot? Two days, I think we we we, we shot those that scene in two days. Um, but it was a long hours. I remember we were there all night, um, and <laughs> uh oh, uh, it was such an emotional scene because it was my last scene, mm -hmm. and of just shooting. Period. It mm -hmm. was my and I remember, you know. Um, Having my my final close up and um, they were like cut. They were like uh, check the gate, and I just kind of stood there, you know, like it's done. I'm done. Okay. Then I walked to the side and I started shaking. And then Adina came over and uh, she grabbed me and we just, you know, we had a, a moment sure. of mm. crying and. <laughs> more crying and hugging um but it was but for me as as an actor it was nice to have that payoff to know why my character is so uh, why mm -hmm. she how she i got to see why she ticks mm -hmm. you know i always quite i always knew i had to do something maybe with her father and stuff but it was nice to actually see it like when we actually shot that scene and i saw my younger self it just gave me so much more information to 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 feed into the scene with my mom mm -hmm. to be like you know what after all of this is said and done after all of the bad parenting i love you mm -hmm. i forgive you 
you forgive yourself and let's move on from here. Let's have, you know what I mean? Let's, let's mm. find peace in our, in our relationship. Because I think that's all Letty May really wanted, I think, was forgiveness for bad parenting. I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think. I mean. No, no, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. I was going to ask you, you know, because before we went on, you were talking about, you know, the scene with you and Adina. And what did you learn the most? You know, how was that relationship between you and Adina throughout the years? You know, how did it, how did it morph? How did it change? How did it grow? You know, because I yeah. imagine there's been some sort of arc even between the two of you. Yeah, no, I've... Um, as performers, as, you know, professionals. Yeah, no, she's become a really good friend of mine. And, um, you know, Adina uh, is a beautiful woman. She's she's just uh, amazing. She's a beast, as we say, in the acting <laughs> world. <laughs> and, um, you know, she's, she's someone who, when you're working with her, no matter if the camera's on her or not, she's with you. She has your back. Um, she gives you 150% all the time. And I've just learned so much from her mm. just just of how to like <sighs> it's hard I don't want to get emotional but like she gives herself she gives her whole self when she's acting and you don't see that all the time when someone mm. is that raw all the time and it's just every take mm. every take it's there you don't have to worry about her not being you know and she's just always been so welcoming to me and gave me great advice on the business and how to do things and you know because this was my first big show so um i've just enjoyed her immensely over the seven years getting to know her and um she's a beautiful beautiful spirit yeah it's funny that you said because you said this was your first major role you know but it was so i'm thinking this is almost like your first tv family in a sense Mm -hmm. it it, it was it was and i feel i kind of feel I kind of feel like the ba- you know the baby or, or or you know going off to college now or going off into the real mm-hmm. world because I've learned everything from True Blood that I know about television you know um, and I just you know if you would have asked me seven years ago if this if I would you know still be on the show I would have never I would have been like no I was like this show's like I, don't, I mean it's just a, a, a you know we have one season you don't see it's not often that you see a show that goes on for like mm-hmm. seven seasons, mm-hmm. especially right out the gate. Like I was right out of school. I was like, really? I get a sh- huh? <laughs> I'm on TV. I mean, I was like, I couldn't believe it. It was like my dream coming true, you know, and getting to work with Nelson, who I had just spent three years in school. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys <laughs> went to school together, yeah. so. Yeah, and I mean, I'll never forget my first scene with him on set was just like, oh my God, <laughs> like I'm working with you, I love you. And he was making me laugh and I felt so comfortable. You know, because I came in on, you know, they'd already shot the pilot. So I came in, um, you know, as a replacement. And it was just like, <sighs> it was just nice to have him there, to have that, that safety net, yeah, you know? Yeah, familiar. Yeah. Have family, family be family. Yeah. Did you know going in? I mean, once they hired you? Yes, okay. I did. I did know. You saw his name on there, and you're like, okay. Yeah, and I didn't tell him I was auditioning. I kind of, like, surprised him with it, and I was just like, I got it. And he was like, Routini! Because he calls me Routini. He was like, you got, what? Routini? We gonna be working together. We 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 gonna be working together. I was like, yep, we gonna be working together. And then he started calling me Hooker. Hooker. <laughs> hey, Hooker. Hey, Hooker. <laughs> so. so very <laughs> different from the character, I take it. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, are you are you satisfied? Are you happy with what we saw? Your art. Off? Yeah. Mm. I am. I am. I was. I I knew people were so upset at how it went out before the credits. Mm. I'm like before mm-hmm. the credits. Really? Before the credits. Right. Um, but I knew when I got that scene in episode eight, I was like, they're gonna be. I think they will be satisfied. I mm-hmm. think they will be like, okay, that's a nice way to send her off. That's a nice way. To send. I just to just see her like go off into dust yes. as mm-hmm. she was, you know, materialize into what she was. You know, it was just. I loved that. I just thought it was a nice simple gesture to see her just go back into the dust you know do you think there's a reasoning behind it without sorry, without going because she's always and we've seen her as with that hard exterior yeah and mm-hmm. the way she just softly faded away to yeah. see the other half the other side of her there's always been a softness to her deep deep inside right. but we've always seen this hardness and then now that we've found the truth the, the why and then for her now to she can like easily just go go away because you know? she's because she's can rest she's at peace yes. finally i think she uh, yeah that, that's the perfect word for it she's it, she has finally come to terms with herself that she's found a sense of um yeah peace is the only word i can actually think of but it's just uh, you know she's yeah yeah i mean 
the whole. That's the only way I can think of. <laughs> no, no, you came full circle. Just, yeah. Sure, you're whole. It, yeah, whole. exactly. And I feel like, you know, it's saying to her, you know, I, I forgive yourself so that we can move on. And then it's for her, it's just that turn of like, I forgive you and now I can move on into the ether from mm -hmm. whence yeah. I came. And now you go on living. And my favorite part of that scene was you go on living. Like, that's how I want you mm -hmm. to to carry on. It's just live. Yeah. Like, that's such a great message. Yes, live yes. your life to its fullest. Because you don't know how much time you have mm -hmm. left. You know? And it's just, I, I loved that. There's her. so many threads. Because um, we can go to other characters. Let's say um, Arlene and um, Ella. Terry. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Terry go live your life. Very mm -hmm. Go be happy. Mm -hmm. Live your life. You're starting to see all the... It's so beautifully... I, I, I love it. I love the show. Sometimes I have my hard days with it. Yeah. And yes. This, and this I'm this sure. Is, it's like no, any relationship. Yes. You know, and like, this is making up for it. Uh, honestly, mm -hmm. it was the perfect time. And I just, as a fan, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you so sure. much. And it was, it was so, even though you said it was so simple, it was so powerful. That's and, nice and to hear. And it really was. And that, and that moment, it was just so perfect. Ugh. Yeah, I got, so I'm kind of, I, I, I cried. I didn't think I was going to. Yeah, I mean, I thought I would, but not like that. Like it caught me kind of off guard. I was like, Ooh. "Was that the first time you've seen it?" You yeah, seen it? So, I hadn't wow. seen it. I hadn't. Um, I did a little ADR, but mm -hmm. you know, I d didn't mm -hmm. really see the full scene, so that was my first time, and I was just like, "Wow!" And you shot it that lands. In, it really does land mm -hmm. in a nice place, you know. And you shot that in June, right? In June. So, yeah, I wrapped so, in June. It's recent. It's amazing. That's mm -hmm. so much more recent than I imagined it would be. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a I, I got a slight bone to pick with you. Uh -oh. Okay, we're going to switch it up. This is good. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we covered the red carpet with our lovely Kristen Carroll, who could not be here yes. tonight. And, mm. you know, we cannot do the show without you. And thank you. We mm. hope you heal quickly. She's having her own Hep B. So uh, we, yeah. Yeah, it's going around. But we hope to see her next week. Yeah, so Kristen. please get well soon. But you talked to her on the carpet. And mm. she brought up the facts. So what do you see this season? Do you see maybe a little action between you and you're like you and Pam and you and you threw us off. You played so well. <laughs> Dude, maybe, yeah, me and Pam, maybe me and Sam. <laughs> yeah. I'm well, on to you. You on to me? I'm, on I'm to good. You. I have to throw you off. Yeah. I have to. It's my job. Oh man. <laughs> the smile gets me every like, time. No shame. No shame. Like, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did that. <laughs> exactly. I lied and I did. You believed me. Well played. Played routine. <laughs> Who knows? She might still. She might know the outcome of the show, and she's still not going to tell us. She may pretend like she hasn't seen it, but I she do. Knows. I know how it ends. <gasps> oh hell no! <laughs> oh, we're gonna get. Wah, wah. See? I'm oh, we're. Tell you. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, don't worry. We're here for another five hours. I'll get yeah, right. oh, We're no. here all I'm night long. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we only got like two more minutes. Okay, so let's move. Let's now move on to. Violet and the Violet Oof. Dome, Violet's Lair. I saw you even getting into this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Were, wait, let me clear that up. No, 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 no. But you were on the edge of your seat on this yeah. one too. So I was like, maybe she doesn't know everything that's happening. So I was like, okay. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. So we got Violet, Jason, Jessica, Adeline, Ray. I mean, Ray. Ray. Wade. Sorry, Ray. my brain's There's cut. a lot of names. Yeah, there are a lot of names there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... And the fact that Hoyt comes in with a hero's entrance and mm -hmm. blows her away like like Dirty Harry. What, Sarah? What, what's wrong? Well, I I was just shocked because I didn't know whether to be scared or intrigued or find it kind of funny. And I it was just like mm -hmm. there was a, it was really heightened. And there was a lot going on. Mm -hmm. And then I what sold it for me was when Hoyt came in and he delivered that blow. And on top of that, it just reminded me that Violet's the one who actually killed his mom. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why that struck me. And obviously he doesn't know that because Jason yep. never told him. But it like always kind of was interesting to me that there was that dynamic. So he shot her, he saves the day and does become this just strong hero Hoyt that I really enjoyed. Um, I thought Violet's speech was hilarious, oh, especially yeah. when she talked about her relationship with Jason. Yes. It's it was making great. me laugh out loud, like, <laughs> so and it was great. right before she like, right before she gets shot, and she's just like, you know, no wit, and I'm dying. It was like this really funny mix of emotions mm -hmm. that I had in response to that scene. Um, my only problem with it was why Bridget got in the car, which I still don't understand. Right, that was exactly yeah. my, my huge issue. Well, that and the fact that Hoyt just showed up 
a course so conveniently and i know because we don't have a lot of time left with these episodes we have to wrap things up but it just felt like after violet's been portrayed as the big bad vamp you know with all this history and even then in this last scene she's doing the same thing and then he just somehow shows up to the place and just blows her away like that was the He's only thing that the hero i no, and i like that because i think again like you were saying i was thinking the same thing i was like oh he ended up getting kind of the comeuppance there and exactly. he was able to get back for his he mom saved without and realizing he saved Jessica but, and he like right. did all of these and so things I, that, I love that but I also didn't like the fact that Richard got in the car which I thought was ridiculous yeah. and I also didn't like the fact that he just showed up that easily and I was like okay you gotta kinda not be that nitpicky but those are my two little things too I do I'm not really like with you it. on the Bridget one now yeah. I think we need to rewatch it because I'm telling you we're not seeing it for what it is it's everything is being tied to tied up every, but perfectly yes, so much yes, so that yes. we're missing I understand it. no I understand no, I understand that, but... and I understand this weird love square that they yeah. have yes with the Bridget and the Jess I, and the, I get it I get it I get it it's just like how they filled that in with mm-hmm. like I don't want the glaring question to be why was she in the cop car? Exactly. Why was she in the cop car? She was fighting with her boyfriend. I don't want to be in the room know, with you. Exactly. I gotta but you're go. not going to just go in the cop car. I mean, that, that part was ridiculous. <laughs> don't worry. I'm going to go to like, the, it's a cop car. They're going to like a murder yes. investigation or something. You're like, I'm well, going to go too. I know. Yeah. That's, what, that's what drove me crazy too. It was exactly the same thing. It's like, come on. And uh, in her fancy little dress. Like, she's not a badass. Bridget back me up, Routina, like... please. Come on. Like, some, I don't want to be here with you. I'm going to get in the car with the sexy cop. I'm going to do it right now. Get your jealous on. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm telling you. Of course. You. Yeah. I know. And he was I like, oh, she's pretty. So she'll come in the car, you know, with me and we'll just drive off. But it just was a little ridiculous. Yeah. All right. But girls are kind of stubborn sometimes. Tell him. <laughs> no, but they, no, but like you know, and I could, I could actually see that happening. A girl yeah. getting in the car and be like, "No, I'm staying in the car. Make me, make me get out." You know, like, and she seems that Bridget seems to be that type of character. <laughs> so then, my way or the highway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you guys said you guys have a hard time the way we just lost by it like that at the at the fever pitch of her speech. Like, let's say when they're feeling godlike. Here's the, the similarities between Sarah. Violet, even Russell Edgington, when they're giving mm-hmm. these mad speeches of "I am like yeah. I am a god," and that's usually their downfall. Right, right. right. It's like that the... pride, you know, but right before the fall. Or what is that saying? Pride before the fall. Yeah, yeah correct. Like, <laughs> but like the bigger thing. question is, who has the power to kill her? Like, I understand. Like, you have to get her in a state where she's over, so mm-hmm. overconfident, so arrogant, so overwhelmed in some sort of emotion that she becomes vulnerable. Right. Because there's no other time she's going to be mm-hmm. vulnerable. She planned everything to the T. She's the strongest vampire around right now. Like, mm-hmm. Bill can't do anything. Eric is in his own world. Like, she is the primo vampire mm-hmm. in this area. So you have to get her in a state of vulnerability, and that's only going to come when she's too obsessed with herself. Yeah. Like, there, any other way they would have killed her, I would have been like, mm-mm, she would have defeated that. Yeah, exactly. She, she would have gotten him. Like, if Jason had done it when he was sneaking in, we're like, no. Yeah, exactly. She planned it has to come mm-hmm. from something completely unplanned, someone she's not looking out for, and that's how it's going to happen. Right. right. So and that I get was it, a... but it, again, it just felt like it was, it, and I liked that it was him, and it pretty much had to be, but it was just the way it all came down. I That was my mm-hmm. only thing. I'm not, I mean, we can rehash it forever. But... Okay, so routine, as a viewer, now, what, with the, did she get a comeuppance? Was this the right time? Was this perfect, actually, the way you see this? As a fan, like, could you have seen it, it going any other way? With Violet? With Violet. With Violet. No, I think it was perfect. <laughs> I think it was perfect. She went out at the height of her, mm-hmm. you know, speech and the height of everything, and I thought it was just kind of a nice way to just boom, and she's gone like mm-hmm. that. That yeah. is, you know, no. crazy lady here, crazy lady gone. Yeah, yeah crazy. I love her. Yeah. <laughs> I, love her. I love her, but her character's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. She's nuts. Now, is this laying the groundwork for? We've said it before. I've been mm-hmm. the second we saw it. Mm-hmm. Our Hoyt, square. Hoyt and Jessica mm-hmm. teaming up. Yeah. and Jason and Bridget is it enough for them to pair up it's big indicating yeah, I don't know I'm, I'm trying curious. to glam you I know I know I see you I see you <laughs> I'm curious about that too but I I think I think as just as an audience member that they're gonna Bridget and Jason are gonna end up together and then I think that uh, I'm hoping Hoyt and Jessica mm-hmm. will rekindle that's what I'm hoping my question is if they do decide to rekindle does that come with her unglamoring him or without yeah. it? Yeah, yeah like a whole that's new beginning. That's what I debate. Yeah. Because we're seeing the spark. We're seeing it happen. But the whole time it's happening, I'm like, you're lying to him. Exactly. It's not really you, fair. I understand. And I'm glad that they reminded us in the mm-hmm. very beginning of this episode that it was him who asked them to do this because I had mm-hmm. 
forgotten mm-hmm. that. So I was really glad they put that little snippet mm-hmm. in. But I'm just like, you, you don't get to start completely fresh if you know all the details. I'm just not sure that I would want a relationship of them built on that. That it would be like this whole fresh flower, like whole fresh is like. And we're still speculating. We don't I know. Right, right, right. We are. And uh, but what about the flip side? Where what if somebody had amnesia or something, and then the other partner didn't, and then they kind of like start over again? Like, I, I mean, so that's a whole you know thing there. But I was like, it's not really fair. But my other problem is the Bridget thing too. I, I can't just see Jason after all these years, and we've talked about this, and just all of a sudden he's gonna fall in love with her and with Bridget, and that's it. Like that just. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know the, her as a character, so that's why that would be a. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing: uh, Hoyt and Jessica had to go through this because one thing yeah. I've noticed about Hoyt, not to say he wasn't a man before, but he's come back with this, this maturity right, he's that grown. we 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 have not seen. Mm-hmm. We didn't see when, once he left, yeah. and I think they both had to go on this path mm-hmm. to see if there's if they get back together. You're disagreeing yeah. already, Sarah. I'm just saying you have to give him a choice. Sure. And you have to give him an informed choice. I understand he's a man. I understand they have an attraction to each other, and I like their relationship. Yeah, I do too. But if you want me to believe that they're destined to be together and like should love each other, he needs to have a choice. Like he needs to know the whole picture. It's like just the same as when like Bill lied to Sookie and they got answers in that relationship today. Yeah. Where they, you know, because. I'm sure for their relationship, if they were to build off, they still do. They need to resolve all these years of fighting and there are going to be questions and there is going to be, you have to have that basis of knowledge to move forward. Um, So to me, their their story is kind of parallel where Mm -hmm. they're both like wronged and you've got to let people know and then they get to decide if they're going to forgive you. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot. I get, but I get I get where you're coming from with that. Absolutely. There's a lot left, and we have a whole two episodes to figure it out. Yeah. Oh God. I know. <laughs> I can only imagine. Ooh. But the way they pulled off this eighth episode, mm-hmm. I can only imagine what nine and ten are going to be like. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. going to be a puddled yeah. mess. Mm-hmm. So pack, crammed with goodness. Get ready. Oof, it's going to be a roller right. coaster ride. Speaking yeah. of which, let us move on to Bill and Sucky. Oh, what a Bill and Sucky. Mm. Little Bill and Sucky. We, what did we learn? Well, we, we learned a few things tonight. Excuse me, the fact that why Sofiane sent Bill in the first yes. place to breed. Yes, <laughs> that was that was yeah that was I loved weird. It. I know I, I loved it, hilarious. but it was funny. I just it imagined was weird. like Sicky breeding all of these little right. fairy children. It's like little puppies, you know. It's like here we go. Or in Bill's eyes, little bundles of darkness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I know. I know it was so funny. I love that one. No, but the fact, I think it's because all season long, we noticed that we're, we're trying to redeem Bill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we've gotten, I think we have. We've seen, you know, we've seen so many levels to him that, you know, Sookie's and Is mm-hmm. Caroline the one or was Sookie the one all along? I think we're seeing that it's Sookie um. all along. That's what I. Well, that's I, what I, you're I getting. Well, I mean, that's sort of what we were saying on the last, last couple of episodes. Is that it was sort of a way for him to have closure. Like I was saying, like having that, having those flashbacks of the, the whole I Civil War like era, it was closure. I don't know. But that's what I was thinking. You so disagree. he could be open for Suki. You disagree, mm-hmm. and I saw yeah. the micro move on her face. So I'm thinking, oh, I might be wrong. No, but I, I mean, that's what you. But that's what I we've been thinking. I was feeling like his heart is with Caroline, and like he has this poisoned vision of Suki. <laughs> 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 like. I'm sorry, his vision of her, she finally gets into like right. a flashback scene moment, right. and she has a bundle of darkness. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, how could you wake up from that and be like, I know. this yeah. is the this one, is the one, I, one I want to be with? <laughs> the one you're like, no. I was just like, no, he's like convinced himself that this life has been like too fake or too, uh, too much of an like imagined love or remembrance or memory, as he said, as he said in what beginning. his real life was. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess that's to build up to his final decision when we got in this episode. Mm-hmm. But I feel like Suki's like, love me. I love you. I'm a willing to admit. Right. And he's like, I know, but I can't. Like, <laughs> that's how I'm feeling. I'm not but seeing it's about the love forgiveness. dots connecting. Think about the, it's about forgiveness, ultimately. Bill forgiving himself. Everyone mm-hmm. forgave it. And Niall said it himself. The greatest power of all is love. And Niall didn't like yes, Bill for Sookie. He didn't. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> he also said death, too. So that was the other thing that was like, he said death last episode is a whole miracle and all this, too. It's, like, like, it's uh-huh. like when your parent disapproves of you bringing home a boyfriend or girlfriend. Yeah. And it's the person that you end up with. Yeah. Your parents don't have to approve. 
Yes, he set up. He, a big he, deal. he blew up True Blood factories. He blew up all. He did all this stuff. But I'm saying, I cut the guy some slack. My family. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Tina. He's trying to save the Sakina. Yes, yeah, I see. No, I I with you though because that's what I feel like too, and I feel like this is his whole process of working through it, even with the darkness and everything. He's just trying to. He he has to get. He has to work through all this. Like Tina, can earlier. Bill forgive? Can there be forgiveness ultimately? In the end. What's gonna happen? I know you can't tell us what happens, but <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I know what happens, but um, I'm curious about the Bill and Sookie thing. I don't know. Because mm. I'm with you guys. I, I Do you have someone you want Sookie to be with? Yes. Bill? Oh. Well, that's what she wants to be with. I want mm. her to be with Bill. Okay. I mean, that's how it started. Well, that's how it started, exactly. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. why you feel like it would wrap up that way. All right, so I know we got to keep it sh we gotta keep it short because we still don't know what's going to happen, and we've got two episodes left. Um, there's so many ways, directions it could go in. And uh. before we get into predictions, we do have to spend a little time with our special mm -hmm. guest, Miss Rutina. So, uh, what have you been up to since True Blood? Since all of June, have mm -hmm. you had any time to any time to relax? Actually, more so. Yeah, I've been relaxing. Okay. Um, and because I know you got many projects, where you've I mean, Thirteen Sins. Which yes. Looks awesome. I saw um, that. Sorry. Uh, no, no, no. She's getting into so. I'm antsy. She's getting comfortable. <laughs> it's a, it's a, yeah. Um, I'm doing a film right now called The Perfect Guy with mm. Sanaa Lathan. Right, mm -hmm. right. And that's a lot of fun. And I did a film called Last Weekend with Patricia Clarkson that's coming out in the fall. Okay, what is that about, mm. actually? Yeah. It's like a dramedy. Um, it's a family. Um, they come to their family house for like the last weekend. And. They're gonna sell the house, but the kids don't know it. And I play one of the brothers' best friends. Okay. So, okay. Um, so, and then it just, yeah. So it's Patricia Clarkson. Is she usually like her because she's always like this very saucy kind of. Yeah, she is mm -hmm. in, this, in this film as well. Yeah. Okay. She's so, like, yeah, we did. We yeah. dealt with the softness. And it's now fine. you said now the 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 perfect. It was it. Is it the perfect man again? Is it the perfect? The perfect guy. The perfect guy. With, Forgive uh, me. Uh, Michael, Michael Ely, Ely and Morris Chestnut. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And, and what do you, what do you what are you doing? I'm in her that? best friend. Okay. One of her best friends. And no, is it no, is it cool just being outside of the True Blood world, and so that the public gets to see another side mm -hmm. of you? Because I know deep down inside, I think you want to be the more of that, you know, Notting Hill romantic. Ingenue, yeah, yes. leading lady. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, a Juliet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is that what you? And you've done that in, in theater. Mm -hmm. Have you? You've done a lot of yeah, theater. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done. Um, sorry. I have to <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yes, I've done a lot of uh, theater. Yes. Yeah, because uh, because we can always backtrack because you're you're let's say your mom and dad were basically like we're uh, we're people from uh, from <laughs> Vegas. So, but um, what I was gonna say is, what are you doing after this? Uh, nothing. What I'm so, doing after this? Yeah, after uh, after True Blood. Nothing. So you just take just taking time. a break. Just taking a break. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, right. I think you deserve it after seven you know seven long, long seasons years. Of, of having to encapsulate this character. Yeah, so, so you know, we want to thank you just from the bottom of our hearts for yes. everything we've learned. So we definitely. So what we want to do is quick um, move on to predictions. Predictions. Do a little bit of prediction. Now, you're after Buzz TV. <laughs> you're fine. All right, so we've got we've got a, we got a few predictions here actually. Yes, we so do. basically, mm -hmm. Scott, Sarah, <sighs> mm -hmm. what's gonna happen? Uh, What's going to happen? Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at predictions, because obviously everything's wrong. I'm like, Tara's gonna find the mystery cure, and there's gonna be another thing to have B. Also, how do we cure Sookie? Like, does do all of does this antidote cure vampires and carriers of Hep B? But, but Sookie's like, fine. Isn't but she? she's a carrier. She is like, a I'm, carrier. Yeah, that's so, like I still I'm like, feel like I don't she know has to be exactly because we've still talked about are they get, can you get yeah. reinfected exactly can like does this a, could she not have a relationship with him because right. he have to keep getting cured I I'm a little confused on mm -hmm. that area of the whole antidote thing mm -hmm. um, so I'm waiting for those answers I'm feeling some a little bit of Suki Eric temptation coming our way. I think there's going to be a little bit more mm -hmm. love influence there. I don't know if Pam's going to be that person who comes in again and is like, no, pick me over Suki, and then it actually works. But something's going on. So far, this is where my mind is at. What okay. are you thinking? I've, I've been saying it before. And Bill, at the very end, when he said no, mm -hmm. that he didn't want the blood, 
because I think I, I in the end he's always wanted to be human, and the themes mm-hmm. of this season ha- has always been love, mm-hmm. the randomness of the universe, and and life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think right now Bill has a choice, mm-hmm. and he's g- does he take it? I don't know. It, it's no. it, I, I honestly for one because I for sure knew that he, I thought Bill and Sucky were going to end up together forever. Mm-hmm. Right. That's but, okay. But now with him saying no. What's that going to happen in now helping Sarah out? Does does she does Bill pass? Do we lose Bill? And does she end up with possibly Eric or with no, no one at all? I don't think Bill's just going to die like that. I think it's like it's. I know the thing. It's it's so tough because we we you know you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. Someone's going to be in danger, and they're going to need Bill to save the day, and he's going to have to be cured. I think it's going to be Eric that's going to save the day. I do. I still think Eric is there, but it, it just so much threw me off because like they were setting us up to think that Eric was ready to die and that Bill would not. And now they've kind of switched it around, and now Eric, you know, healed himself right away. And now Bill's like, no. At the very last scene, we're seeing him say, no, he's not going to take it. And you know, we've kind of seen this lead up with Niall, the whole thing, mm-hmm. like death is a miracle, and we're seeing him. You know, so they're like, are they setting us up in this other direction again, or are they going to try to wrap it up? I think I got it actually. It's oh. He's, I he's think I've got, got I've got it. I have got it. I have got it. I know. As okay. We've all been so great in our theories this season. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We're on a great track record. Shit. <laughs> what is your final prediction? With what happened tonight with Rutina and with Letty May, with Taryn and Letty mm-hmm. May, and everything comes full circle. And remember, Eric has always been about himself. Mm-hmm. And this is the moment where he, in the end, becomes the Messiah. And he gives himself up. No. no. Yes. It's the it's the Eric's book. He's not going to give himself up. Yes, it's the book end of it actually. Well, yes. I'm telling you. I'm just saying it right now. Uh, Routine, you you, you missed that know. fact that I just said Eric saves the day and he becomes the, uh, he's the Messiah. Eric's going to be the Messiah. He's going to save okay. everyone. He's going to sacrifice. <laughs> She's like you're crazy. Damn it. <laughs> That's so. what she said. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I can't Aww. back you up on that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. She, uh, she, she put it there, right the there. The fans are going to love that. <laughs> so, Routine, quickly, Good before we wrap up, so what I was going to say is, so, any predictions? Um, <laughs> I know. Oh, man. Well, I told you one. I think that the, the, the square, I think that the hood's going to be with Jessica, and mm-hmm. I think Jason's going to end up with Bridget somehow. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I know. See, how can you be happy with him with Bridget? Is that we, your love of we Jason don't know. We know. Come, on, come on, a little bit of love there. I'm not. I don't know about that one. Right. Now, we don't know Bridget well enough. I don't, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I kind of agree with you. I kind of agree with you on that one. Now, the Hoyt and Jessica, I think, mm-hmm. is beautiful. Because mm-hmm. I think they really had something special. Um, the first love. But now Bill not taking the blood. Okay. Surprise. She's on the edge of seat. Okay, so. I'm just, you know, what? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I know, but I don't know. You know, but you don't know. I'm missing some things, Mm -hmm. you know, so. And quickly, before we wrap up, I have to ask you a quick personal True Blood question. Who is your favorite one to kiss? (laughs) Mm. We'll leave you on that one. (laughs) Sam (laughs) Trammell. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone, put your hands together for Miss Rutina West. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, with that said, Scott, where can they find you? You guys can find me on Twitter at SMAN80. That's S-M-A-N-8-0. And you can find me here on Thursday nights for Season 2 of Defiance. And lovely Sarah Strutton. Hi, guys. You can find me here or at Anatomy of a Movie. And, of course, Miss Rutina Wesley. Now, tell us, 13 Sins. Mm -hmm. 13 Mm -hmm. Sins uh, is on, I think, on demand right now. And uh, last weekend comes out August 29th, I want to say. All right. In theaters, yeah. So, and you yeah. can keep her on the DVR or DVD mm-hmm. versions of True Blood. Forever. Got him. Thank you so Forever much for gracing us tonight at After Buzz. <laughs> of course. Yes, thank you. So for Scott, Sarah, Miss Rutina Wesley, I'm JC, and we will see you next week. Good night, everybody. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire After Buzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the After Buzz TV Network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Juliet! <laughs> Shit, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think. <laughs> Buzz! See you later! <laughs> the music's
expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.